Um, my name is Chris Campbell. I am the CEO of Consulting Engineers South Africa. And uh, I think I want to weigh in on, on two aspects, but the construction mafia, uh, which certainly from uh, annual surveys we've conducted in our industry, confirms that it is a serious concern. So, I, uh, can I ask you, he was suggesting that it's declining. Look, I think it shouldn't oh, yeah, even exist. I, mean to be I think the point, yeah. the point we need to be aware of is it shouldn't even be a, th a factor. Okay. Yeah. So it's a bit like assuming that we've only killed 10 people. Yeah. Nobody should have died. Yeah. It's like only and, one and, rape took place. And, yeah. Yeah. and on, the, on that point, I don't believe that throwing just police and money at the problem mm. is going to solve it because you can throw money at anything. But if you don't have the right caliber of police to do and, and do the research and the investigations, it's not going to happen. You'll never have enough of those. So here's the kicker. In our construction uh, Occupational Health and Safety Act, in the construction regulations, it requires that the client, public sector, municipalities, SOEs, do a risk assessment of a site before handing it over to a contractor. That risk assessment is not only environmental, but also the broader context. And the intelligence that should be gathered through that can be fed back into the intelligence. But what you're required. really saying is that, I think it's for, uh, what uh, Advocate de Kock said, you've got to have a holistic view here. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the process at the moment is reactive. Got you. We can use more resources proactively. And, and that involves communities and public sector. I want as to give people an opportunity. You haven't tried. You, 